Okay, in this video, I'm going to cover three topics that uh, might not be used often, but they are, I think, important to know. Uh, they're good sort of um, things to keep in mind when you're when you're working with objects in co-spaces. So the first one is locking. Uh, sometimes you may want to put something onto your platform, and then as you're building other um, uh, library items out onto your grid, you don't want to uh, mistakenly move or alter the first item that you put on there. So what you're going to want to know how to do is lock. So let's just take this item here that we've imported as an STL file. Uh, if I want to come in here and double click on it, I can just come in here and click lock. And so what that does is it, it keeps me from like trying to get to it and accidentally resizing it or lifting it up or changing its rotation angle or whatever. Uh, I'd have to double click in there and click unlock in order to edit it. So this is really good if you don't want to have something disturbed while you're working with other items. All right, the second thing I wanted to talk about was the idea of snap. So these, every object that you bring onto the grid has by default, and I believe the default is one quarter of a grid mark. So it as I'm moving this across the grid, you can see, it, maybe if you look closely down at the foot, you can see that it's just moving one-fourth of that larger square. So this is one square, and these are fourths. So right now it's set to snap to a quarter of the grid. I could snap it to one grid, and then as I moved, it would just snap like that, and it would only stop at those grid points. Okay, so that's really good if you're, for the most part, you know, just needing to put things roughly in a certain area. But if you wanted to rotate, let's say, really smoothly, you could turn snapping off. If I take snap, snapping grid off, and now when I move, it doesn't snap to the grid. It just, I can do everything at an exact angle that I want to. So snapping is a, a feature that by default is on. Uh, for the most part, I, I leave it on, but you may have instances where you're needing some fine tuning and you don't want to do that. Uh, so, okay. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you is attaching. Uh, if you go to the library under the building blocks, there are these blocks here that you can bring out onto your uh, grid. And you can use them as kind of like platforms. If I double clicked on this platform and maybe I went to the materials and maybe made it look like a wood block or something like that. And this could be an area where uh, a, an, another object resides. And so the way you do that is you do what's called attaching. And if you saw the video on how to code uh, a, a character to walk on the, on the grid, you saw that we attached the character to the path. Same thing here. So if I, let's say, double click on this dog and I say attach, there are items, these little blue dots uh, highlight on different characters and different points that you can attach the dog to. So in this case I can click on this one and the dog appears on top of my platform. And maybe I'll shrink him down to match the, the size of the platform. So then if I were to maybe animate him and have him uh, play, something like that, he will stay on the platform. So when we hit play here and there we go. Okay, so the dog is playing on the platform.